My name is Carlin Borisenko, and this is the very first episode of a new show I'm debuting exclusively for Rockfin called Woke Roundup. It's going to be a weekly show where I'm going to discuss a variety of news stories about different woke things going on in organizations, going on in schools, things you need to know to keep up with how critical race theory is infiltrating into every single part of of our society. Now, I'm doing the show pre-recorded just for right now, but I do hope to bring the show live in a couple of weeks so you can hang out with me in the chat, interact with me. It's going to be a good time. But we've got a lot to cover for this week, so I want to jump right into it. Now, this week, I got to tell you guys, I really wasn't expecting a story that I broke to be at the top of the news this week, but here we are. I broke this story just a couple days ago. Coca-Cola is forcing employees to complete online training telling them to be less white and then showing internal whistleblower images of this training that, yes, literally say, try to be less white. Now, this story has been red hot in the last few days since I broke it. You'll see here I actually have over 20 and a half million views just on this tweet. It's been covered everywhere, so I won't rehash it. But we do have some updates to share because Jack Hadfield, who works for National File, has been actually one of the real journalists that's been following the story. Listen, every time I, I post images around a story like this, whether it be schools or organizations, I have whistleblowers coming to me all the time with this sort of information. My dearest hope is that actual journalists are going to pick up the story and follow up on it. Sadly, that very rarely happens, but Jack here did a really great job. He followed up with Coca-Cola, got them to issue a statement. Now, what's interesting about this statement, though, is it was actually the second statement that Coca-Cola issued following the release of these images, and it differed a little bit from the first statement. In the first statement they released, they basically acknowledged that what I reported was completely accurate. And in the second statement, they denied it. So let's take a look at Jack's work in National File. Coca-Cola denies forcing employees to take be less white lesson, admits buying access to hateful screed. In a statement, Coca-Cola said the images are not part of the company's learning curriculum. Coca-Cola have denied a viral story that they force employees to take lessons to be less white, but confirmed they purchased access to the course. A whistleblower from Coca-Cola has alleged on Friday that the company was forcing employees to take a course by noted anti-white race act. Freudian slip there, I almost said racist. Well, she does admit to being a racist in her book, so perhaps not so Freudian. Anti-white activist Robin D'Angelo entitled Confronting Racism on LinkedIn Learning. As National File em uh, reported, Coca-Cola employees are taught to be less white by the course, which implies that to be white is to be arrogant, defensive, ignorant, and oppressive. The course also claims that in the West, white children are socialized to feel that they are inherently superior and that one-time workshops on racism are not enough, claiming that people must be regularly indoctrinated by anti-racism. In a statement provided to National File by Coca-Cola, the company claimed that the video images attributed to a Coca-Cola training program are not part of the company's learning curriculum. Our Better Together Global Training is part of a learning plan to help build an inclusive workplace. It is comprised of a number of short vignettes, each a few minutes long. The training includes access to the LinkedIn learning platform on a variety of topics, including on diversity, equity, and inclusion. The video in question was accessible on the LinkedIn learning platform, but was not part of the company's curriculum. We will continue to listen to our employees and refine our learning programs as appropriate. The statement provided to National Files, Files differs from an earlier statement attributed to Coca-Cola where the company had confirmed that the course was in fact a part of their curriculum but not a focus of their training. In both statements, Coca-Cola confirmed that they had bought access to the course for their employees, arguably tacitly endorsing the message. And this was the original statement that Coca-Cola issued that was procured by Chris Pandolfo from The Blaze. The video circulating on social media is from a publicly available LinkedIn learning series and is not a focus 
of the company's curriculum. Our Better Together Global Learning curriculum is part of a workplace plan to help build an inclusive working environment and then basically says the same things from the first statement. So you'll see how their statements changed from the first one that was released to this second one here. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have questions about this because number one, Coca-Cola, you're telling me that your employees were so pissed off at this training that they went through the trouble to leak images of the training to me. They were so pissed off at this that they they went through. The, this is not something people take on just willy nilly. Like, let's leak these images that could get my employer in a whole bunch of trouble. They did this on their own. You're telling me that they were so pissed off at this training program that they did that but that they had gone in on their own without being instructed to and found their course and just said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a course about confronting my own racism today. That doesn't pass the smell test. When employees go so far as to leak information about their employer to the public, this is a cry for help to say, something is really wrong here and we wanna make sure other people know about it. So no, Coca-Cola, I don't believe they just went in there on their own and decided to take a whole course on confronting racism without you explicitly telling them to. And oh wait, what's this? I committed another act of journalism. Again, folks, I don't wanna be a journalist. That is not my, that is not my life plan. I want journalists to be journalists, but look at this. I committed another act of journalism last night when I got this internal email from a different Coca-Cola employee. And I just wanna scroll right down. I will link to this email in the description so you can read it for yourself. But I just wanna scroll down right here and look at this section. The Better Together curriculum will be loaded onto your Coca-Cola University transcript in the coming days. You can complete the full curriculum in one sitting or by completing a segment on each day. Look for more Better Together on Connect and Yammer. And then it says in bold letters, please complete the required curriculum by April 9th. This is an important learning opportunity and one we encourage everyone to approach seriously and with curiosity. And then links over to the full curriculum on the DE&I learning page on Connect. Now, I don't have what that specific page looks like yet, but I'm working on it. But I'm working on it because unlike other journalists who are just taking Coca-Cola's statement, denying it and releasing it as though it's fact, I am doing the job that they will refuse to do. So hopefully we will have more information about that coming soon. But I do want to say, folks, I don't actually think that the big story here is about Coca-Cola. I do not. The reality is this. This course from LinkedIn Learning is available publicly. So many companies use LinkedIn Learning as their internal employee training platform. It is available for any company to sign up for. Any company can have their employees doing this course. The big story in this whole affair is why does this course exist on a public platform as large as LinkedIn Learning in the first place and how many other companies are forcing their employees to do this training. I don't want people to boycott Coca-Cola. I want people to boycott Robin D'Angelo. And frankly, people that platform form her like LinkedIn Learning. If there's any boycott that should take place in this scenario, it is not against a soda company. It is against the people who are propagating these ideas in our environment in the first place. Coca-Cola is not the problem. Robin D'Angelo and LinkedIn Learning are the problem. So if you want a place to direct your ire and your fury to over these images, that's where you want to direct them to. Again, I like Coca-Cola. I I like Coca-Cola more than I reasonably should. It's even stuck to my coaster there. It's been sitting there for a minute. But listen, that's not the problem. This is not the company is not the problem. People propagating the training is the problem. That's where we need to focus because if Robin D'Angelo hadn't written these crazy books and grifted into this industry where she's making millions of dollars teaching pe white people that they are racist, none of this would be happening. So we need to focus on where the actual problem is. I know it's easy to get distracted by the fact that a multi-million dollar company is 
having their employees even suggesting or even giving access to this training through their internal training platform. I don't even care if it was required because a company as big as Coca-Cola can work with LinkedIn to say, "Eh -eh, we don't want that course on our platform. The very smartest play that Coca-Cola would have had in this instance where they were literally caught red handed is to say, you know what? We should rethink giving our employees access to this course because these are not concepts that align with our core values. That's what they should have done. But yet, here we are.